Greetings humans and welcome to CDC Plays Games Azure Striker Gunvolt Edition. Now if you're wondering why I'm playing this so long after it came out, it's because I'm lazy and it was finally on sale where I could afford it. It was $7.49 on Steam. So I bought it. My interest with this lies in the fact that Keiji Inafune was involved with this development, uh, post Capcom, of course. And with his new wave of like Mega Man replacements, this is basically a stand-in for Mega Man X. The first of which was my one of my favorite games ever. Therefore, I'm interested. Now let's go ahead and give it a uh, Mission Anthem. His mission? Silence the muse and free the world from its trance. Yeah, you typically don't want to silence your muse. Hmm. Well, terrorist, are you ready to admit it? Or shall I loosen your lips with another crack of the Electro Scourge? Pretty good name for a weapon. Quail sent you here to destroy the muse, to silence her, am I right? Well, the Sumeraki group is smarter than you scum. We've already moved our little virtual canary to safety. In other words, you've wasted your time. What do you think of that? How old are you, boy? Did Quill promise to pay you Big Vig for the job? I... Yeah, Big Vig, so... I guess Vic is money, I don't know. A shame you won't ever hear the Muse's anthem again. You'll never feel the ecstasy as your music laps at your auditory cortex. Whoa, dude. Truly a drug for the mind. Buddy's obsessed. Anyway, she's on a freight train out of here as we speak. Convenient slip of the tongue. And you boy will die in the silence. Man, your lips are way looser than mine. I don't know why he has that voice. What? You can still move? But that's impossible! The Scourge pumped enough electricity into you to... I am electricity! Oh. Man. This lightning... It's septimal power! Y you're an adept? Ding ding. Thanks for the whipping. I needed a good recharge. Azure Light. Your Gunvolt. The Azure Striker. That's an okay name. Nickname. Now, time to hunt down the Muse. First order of business kill you. Which I can't do. Alright, see you later, probably. GV to base, open the line. We read you, Gunvolt. Nice to hear you're not dead. Not this time. Update the mission param. Sumeragi has moved the target. They put the Muse on a freight train out of the facility. Pursue. Negative. We should bet the intel to make sure it's not a trap. Judgment overruled. Gunvolt, you are clear to pursue. He can handle himself, Monica. Just keep scanning for changes. Yes, sir. Hey, nice out there, GV. Reno, are you patched in? Is that Reno? Yeah, it's Reno. Strange font. Affirmative, boss man. I caught it all. Move in the support position. You know, in case Jeeves actually decides to let me help. Right, Jeeves? I'll take it under advisement. Advisement? Gee, thanks. I feel loved now. Alright, enough. You've got a muse to deprogram. Asimov out. Ah, uh, let like Isaac Asimov, I guess. Let me just pause this and check my audio right quick. Now then. Oh no, I don't I don't wanna do that. Alright. Ooh, turn the headphone volume down. I think I just blew out my eardrums. And let's get going. Jump. 
<laughs> Ow. Okay. Yeah, so, this is meant to stand in for Mega Man X and Inafune's new, I don't know, venture with NT Games. But it does have some key differences. Main one being that. I've heard this is more akin to Mega Man Zero, but I've never played that series. I probably should. I don't know. I'll rectify that mistake someday. Hopefully. I don't know. And it is a little bit faster paced. Elevator stopped. No juice. Where's the switch? Right there? I don't know. Just a guess. There it is. I need to channel electricity into that switch. It'd be as simple as just tagging it and flashing it. Oh man, you're so cool. Tag with my gun, follow with the flash feed. That's how my world turns. Did you get that, gamer? I'm giving you hints without breaking the fourth wall. Just talking to myself like a lunatic. There we go. Ah. Yeah, so I'm having to play this first level over again because of audio issues. That's why I just had to do the check. This is a really pretty game. Gunvolt, how are your EP levels? Can't have you running out of juice. Missions like this burn through susceptible energy fast. Remember to give your EP time to recover. If you don't want to wait, you can manually recharge, double tap down, as you go. Don't forget, if you run out of EP, you'll overheat. Which means you won't be able to use any of your electrical powers. Hey, I got it. Who are you lecturing? It's my Septima. Dude, he's just trying to be helpful. Calm down. Hey! Forgot about you. Bunch of jerks. Gotcha. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's just this one little change dramatically changes the way you play the game. You have to shoot him first, which weakens him, or your uh, electrical aura, whatever it's called. I don't have the terminology down just yet. There also has a combo system, which I don't think. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to say anything. I'll regret. For now I'm just gonna play this, and it is pretty fun. Does it have the wall jumping? Maybe I don't have really a good surface to try it on. Yeah, almost got me. Hey, cheater! Getting me through the barricade. Charge! Uh, zap, 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 zap! I mean, bug zapper. Hey! I really don't like these things. Yeah, dead. Yeah. So obviously this is a whole lot faster paced than Mega Man X ever was. And if I ever get to play Mighty Number no. 9, if any of us ever get to play Mighty Number no. 9, I think we'll see the same holds true to that compared to Mega Man. That, that whole game seems to be based around speed and getting combos quickly and just burning through enemies like they're nothing. But that remains to be seen. The real, re the, the supposed final release date was announced yesterday, as of the time of this recording. But we'll see if that holds true. I've kind of, I don't want to say lost interest, but my hype is definitely gone for it. I was extremely excited about it for a while there, for a long while there. But now, or I'm keeping my pre-order. I'm obviously going to buy it. I just. I don't have the same vigor to play it like I, like I had before. Amazing how much the aura kind of changes the flow of boss fights, too. So they, they underpower your main weapon to 
know, make a secondary weapon or, or uh, seem a little bit more useful. Sorry if I'm not making any sense, by the way. It is 7 in the morning. It would have only been 6, but had audio problems, as I specified earlier. And... gotcha! That, whatever it is. Still not clear on what a lot of things in this game are. I guess that's okay. Hasn't been a problem yet. Take you down. Boy, I'm going cross-eyed with that fast-moving background. I'm being reminded a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog, too, with all the, the blue and the, the running. That's really where the similarities end, I guess, but... They're there, nonetheless. Ah! No! Scratching my nose! Prick! I probably should jump there. So yeah, Keiji Inafune's new wave of Mega Man-esque games really left me with a lot to be excited about. I, I was never a fan of the mainline Mega Man games. They were slightly before my time. I guess I barely caught Mega Man X. I'm, I still don't honestly remember when I first played X. But so yeah, Mighty Number no. 9 is obviously his new equivalent to... The original Mega Man with changes. And this is to Mega Man as, uh, oh, crap. Sorry, hard to focus with these lasers. The crap is shooting at me. Another one of these guys. So, yeah, this is to Mighty Number no. 9 as Mega Man X was to Mega Man, and Red Ash is to Mega Man. But, uh, Mega Man Legends was, well, you get what I'm trying to say. He's doing all these new stand-ins that I'm honestly, would, I'm more excited about them than I would be for actual Capcom-made Mega Man games. Even though, admittedly, Capcom is one of my favorite developers and publishers. They just, they really don't care about Mega Man anymore, and that cannot be more clear. They're working on a cartoon, yeah. And presumably some kind of game to tie into that, maybe? But... I don't know, man. They they seem to have man abandoned that franchise for... I don't know. Other commercial ventures. I'm using the word ventures a lot lately, I don't know why. Crap. I'm trying to get that. was my score? Tell me my score. B! Alright. Ooh. Not sure what any of that is. I think I got a whole lot of the same... This is the last car. Sumeragi must have hit the Muse program here. What the gack? Really? That's... Where's the server? Are you telling me that... No. No way. That would be... a very strange find. Who... <laughs> are... You... Are you new here? You don't look like a scientist. She's talking to me telepathically. Is she an adept like me? Oh.
My name is Lumen. They call me the Muse. But I'm just a projection, a manifestation of this girl's subtimal power. You are not with Sumeragi, are you? Then free her. Free us both. Right now, you big ding dong. Monica, can you read? Update the mission params. I've engaged the target. But the Muse isn't a program at all. She's a human girl. Adept. What? She's not hostile. Sumeragi has been holding her against her will. That sounds like their style for sure. New objective. I'm gonna extract the girl and... Negative. Your objective stands. Eliminate her. Whoa, dude. Harsh. Asimov, she's just a kid. Kinda like me, I'm only like two years older than her, but I'm gonna call her a kid because I am like to be condescending. Jerk. So are you- there we go. I might finally give him some real talk. So are you. Doesn't matter. She's still a threat. There's no way to help her anyway. How will you get her past the reinforcements closing in on you? Where will she live? With us? Surrounded by guns? You don't... It's not that simple. It's okay. I'd rather die than stay here. Oh? I'm tired of Sumeragi using my anthem to hurt people. I deserve to be silenced. Oh, that's... It's dark. It's so dark. Do it. Please. I won't. Asimov pulled me out of that hellhole. I thought I, I deserved to die too. But he gave me a purpose. Look, don't give up. You're alive for a reason. And if you need someone to help you find it, I'll be your compass. Pretend you can have anything you want. What would you wish for? Anything? Well, I kind of always wanted a pony and a lollipop and a rainbow I could ride to school and a school to go to and some friends and... I want to be free. I want to stand at the top of the world and see it all. Top of the world. Alright, and that's where I'll take you. And drop you out of a space shuttle. Hey, Asimov, I'm done. I've decided to leave Quill. You pulled me out of a bad place and made something out. And I won't forget that. Now I want to do the same for this girl. I want to give her a chance. What chance? You can't free her until we free the world. That's your opinion. Fine. We don't run a democracy here. Will has no room for dissenters. You're off the roster. So long, Gunvolt. What? Oh, come on, both of you. Yeah, what's with all the drama? No drama. I've just got to do this. Monica, Reno, gonna miss you. Take the girl and go. Quill will hold off to reinforcements. Good luck, kid. You too, Asimov. They're like feathers. What's like feathers? Oh, there's crap. <clears throat> Are you an angel? Ugh. One of the worst lines from Phantom Menace. Definitely not. The name's Gunvolt, sorry. The name's Gunvolt. What's yours? I'm Jewel. Not like the terrible singer with the awful voice, though. Sparks rose from him like azure feathers. For a moment, I really thought he had wings. I'll never forget that day we met. My first taste of freedom that couldn't last. Oh, well, that's ominous. What the crap? It's only been a few decades since the first adept showed up. Them and the supernatural powers that came to be known as Septima. It didn't take long for someone to find a way to capitalize on it. That someone was an energy syndicate called Sumuragi. Sumuragi group is old. Real old. Sorry. That, I put a whole weird thing on that. Roots go back to the Middle Ages. 
maybe earlier. Today, they own every power company, and with them, the nation. A threat like the Adepts was the perfect excuse to take over. True, they delivered on the peace they promised. But some of us believe the cost was too high. Is this... Who is this? Is this Jewel? Is this... Benvolt? Isama? Too many Adepts shipped off to protection camps. Oh, yikes. Too many sick experiments gussied up as clinical energy trials. Sumeragi's PR machine was as slick as a sinner's row dancer. But some didn't buy it. They resisted. That's basically how Quill got started. The Quorum for Unrestricted Information, Law, and Liberty. Nice name, right? As the Ring of Justice? Two can play the PR game, that's definitely not a narrator. I don't know who's talking! Oh, okay. Anyway, Quill paid my bills right up until the day I met Jewel. To be honest, not much changed after I went freelance. Oh, this is a lot of talky talky. GV to Quill, open the line. I was fresh back from the city's trenches. I needed to check in with my handler, Monica. This was after about a half a year of freelancing. I missed Quill's paycheck. But I was finally managing. The apartment was growing on me as humble hideaways go. I read you. Nice work out there, GV. Hey, listen! How many of your contracts are with Quill? Almost all of them, right? Cause I'm nosy like that. You should just come back. Join up again. Fair point. I was pitching myself as freelance. Jewel and I were wanted terrorists. Try landing jobs with that on your resume. At least I did less overtime. I take your jobs because you pay well. Don't get warm and fuzzy on me. Look, Asimov was right. What Jewel needs right now is a family. I know how much you and Asimov mean to me. I want her to have the same thing. Not the last bunk in some fringe militia. I think we're all in the best place we can be. Who's getting warm and fuzzy now? Jerk face. Fine, have it your way. I'll tell the other fringe lunatics you said no. Monica, wait. That's not what I meant. Oh yeah, I handled that conversation well. Monica really was like family. She'd get over it. Well, home sweet home. I should check in on Jewel. Gunvolt, you're home! Let work go. I wish you'd let me help you out for a change. Oh my gosh, don't talk to her. Are you sure you're not... Yeah. Are you sure you're not already? Weird. I almost got killed on tonight's mission, but when I went down... It's not a story you want to tell a little girl. Memories of this room flashed through my mind, and I heard your anthem. It gave me the strength to keep fighting. Really? Out of nowhere, Lumen appeared. Why do you think Sumeragi wants us? When I sing, the dead get up and dance, bro. You're lucky to have us. Muse always had a way of photobombing them all. Duel wasn't in full control of her Septima yet, which meant Lumen had her own personality. It boggled me that she even came out of Jewel's brain. No one asked you, Lumen. Go away. Yeah, yeah. See you soon, hottie. Next time, don't wear a shirt. <laughs> I swear I don't know her. Anyway... Have you been keeping track of your progress? This game doesn't autosave for you, so you have to remember to do it yourself. Press LB to open the menu, then choose the- Is this still her talking to me? Use the right icon. Talk to Jewel, no, it's not. To talk to Jewel, select the lower left icon from the same menu. You're a little closer to Jewel. Oh. All right, everybody, this has been CDC Plays Games with I don't know how many episodes this will be. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Follow me on Twitter at CD underscore Cobb. Like, share, subscribe, all that crap that I have to beg for. Until next time. Bye!